What's up, Eagles fans? Welcome into the film room presented by Lincoln Financial Group. I'm Fran Duffy, and today we're going to take a look at Eagles' third-round pick, Milton Williams out of Louisiana Tech. Now, you, know, you may know the, the profile at this point, right? This is a guy who tested extremely well at his pro day. And you might think, there might, you might hear people say, oh, well, this guy just, he's an, uh, an athletic freak, workout warrior, and that, that's what helped him uh, get drafted in the third round. No, 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 no. Go back and watch the film and go back. To me, when I watched him before the pro day, I said, this guy is going to get drafted a lot higher than people think. You watch Milton Williams, that athleticism shows up on tape. Former defensive end, made the move to defensive tackle in his junior season, and just watch what he did, how disruptive he was for that La Tech defensive football team. Now, you see him here lined up as a three technique lined up over the guard. This was not this was a new position to him. Again, like I said, he was typically lining up as a defensive end early in his career. Just watch the athleticism from Milton Williams here. He's going to beat the guard, quick swim move, and then watch as he puts his foot in the ground and watch the explosive short area burst, his ability to close and finish. Gets home for the sack in the backfield. This is going to be a very consistent theme with Milton Williams. I've got a ton of plays picked out. These were all plays that I just tagged of him as I'm watching. I'm like, oh, I like this play, like that play, like that play, save that one. This is a, a really fun football player to watch on tape. Here's another Milton Williams play. Uh, again, lined up outside the guard as a three technique. You're going to see him get off the ball here and get after the quarterback, get after the ball. He's constantly chasing the football, and you see the violence and the explosiveness show up on film. Here's that, that first step. Quick swim move, again, foot in the ground and close. And just watch how fast he's able to close, get into the backfield. He gets a TFL here uh, from that three technique spot. We're going to another example of him here, lined up, three technique. Watch him get off the ball. Consistently explosive, violent, really, really sudden athlete. Uh, a guy that you typically don't see at that size move the way he does. He's going to cross the face of the offensive guard, knife into the backfield. Stay square, play through contact, get the TFL in the run game. Here we're going to watch him here against UTSA, Texas San Antonio. Lined up, defensive tackle. Once again, just watch him work the guard. Watch the violence on contact here. Again, you see the pad level, you see the bend. Watch as he just jacks that offensive lineman up. He's able to stay square, push him into the backfield. And he's in, in on the tackle. But Milton Williams, very violent player. Yeah, honestly, he reminded me a lot of Malik Jackson when Malik Jackson was playing at Tennessee. And Malik was a, another guy. He was a former defensive end late in his career there, started to make that move to D-tackle and then became a full-time defensive tackle in the NFL. I thought that Milton Williams had a lot of Malik Jackson uh, to his game. Let me see another example here again. UTSA, watch the, his hands-on contact here against the offensive tackle. This is where contact starts. Watch the tackle get thrown. That just shows how heavy and violent his hands are. And then you see the explosive burst uh, to be able to close and finish in the backfield for another TFL from Milton Williams. Another play here. Lined up inside the tackle here is a four-eye technique. He's working against the guard. Little double hand swipe here to, win, to wipe the guard's hands away. Clears his hips. And again, you don't see this kind of flexibility and ability to turn the corner for a 280-pound defensive tackle. That is a unique skill set for a guy that size. The athleticism consistently showing up on tape. This is another game. BYU, you got the number two pick there, Zach Wilson. But watch, this was a very good offensive line group for BYU this past year. A couple of those guys got drafted. A bunch of them are in NFL camps. Milton Williams, I thought, had a really good game against BYU. Here matched up against the right guard. Let's just watch him. He's going to get double teamed here. And again, at 200, he, at this point, he, was, he wasn't even 280. He was like 265, 270. He's going to give up a little bit of ground. But you watch the competitiveness. You watch the fight. You see him fight through the double team, get to the, get to the play from the backside consistently. He's showing up with that kind of effort on tape. Here he is lined up at nose tackle. Passing down, empty set. Ball's going to come out fast. What do you do as a, as a defensive lineman? If you're not blocked and the ball's going to get out fast, all right, I'm not going to get home for the sack here. I better go make this play. And that, that's, the, that's the kind of personality he brings to the table. Watch Milton Williams close from the backside. That blur that you see, that large blur come by, uh, that's Milton Williams getting in there for the, deep, for the tackle there outside the numbers. Let's take a look at another example here. Lined up against Marshall. Against the offensive tackle, lined up inside. Again, this is going to be a backside run play. He's not just a pass rusher. He's not the guy that's just going to come off the field when it's a rundown. Backside run. He's got to make this play. He's got to beat the block from the offensive tackle. Stay square. He's able to match the running back. Sees the ball all the way through. Comes to balance. Makes the tackle. 
Really nice job there from Milton Williams. All right, so another play here against Marshall. This time, you're going to see him here again, lined up on the backside of this run play. And it's just consistent. This isn't one play. This isn't just a flash play here and there. Watch the power on the backside, defeating the block from the tackle, and then the range. Constantly chasing plays down from the backside. This is a consistent theme from watching him on film. Here's another play lined up inside the offensive tackle. Four-eye technique. Watch the violence on, on contact. The balance. He's never on the ground. Milton Williams never on the ground. Once again, watch him fight through the block from the guard. Stays up. Gets off the block. Violent finish on the ball carrier. And these aren't just all pass rush plays, right? We've seen a bunch in the run game as well uh, from Milton Williams. Here's another one lined up inside the offensive tackle. Four-eye technique. We talk about the balance, and he's never on the ground. This offensive tackle is, you know what, I'm going to try and cut him. Let's try and just get, chop his legs out. Let's just try and see if I can get him on the ground. Perfectly defeats this block. Hands on the tackle. Stays up. And just look at the range. Look at the athleticism. He's trying to get blocked here. He's able to flow, stay square. Get to the ball carrier. Backside run player. Just a, just a really rangy, athletic football player. Love watching this kid on film. Here's another one. Lined up inside the tackle. He's going to go up one-on-one -on -one against the guard. Really on an island here, right? There's, no, there's nothing else really around him. Really wide splits from the offensive line. And just look at the heavy hands on contact. This isn't a guy that's giving up a lot of ground against one-on-one -on -one blocks. Watch him change the offensive lineman. Who, who loses this battle? He's got con complete control of this block, full extension, eyes in the backfield. Gets off the block, makes the play at the line of scrimmage. It's the reason why I, I really loved watching this kid on film. It's not just athleticism and run around. He's a very violent football player. Lined up here inside the tackle once again. He's going to defeat the cut block once again. Right? We're seeing a lot of these same traits show up all over and over and over again. This guy's always chasing the football. He's really athletic, really rangy. This time we're seeing him here lined up head up on the guard. It's kind of a two-eye technique now. Taking on a double team. So he's square on the first block. Here comes the offensive tackle. He's going to try and block that outside shoulder. How much ground does he give up? Nil. None. Watch him toss the guard. Guard gets tossed. Stays square. Stays up. Again, never on the ground. Comes to balance. Drives the running back back into the backfield. Violent, violent finish. Milton Williams. I mean, I, I don't know what else I got to show. You saw the quick, step, the quick first step. Ability to get off the ball. Get after the quarterback. You saw the, the relentless pursuit of the football from the backside. Violence at the point of attack. Defeat and blocks. One-on-one. One -on -one, double teams. Does not matter. Uh, this is a violent player. Explosive, athletic, rangy. We go through all the buzzwords over and over again. This guy's just fun to watch. I cannot wait to watch him here in Eagles Green. Thanks so much for joining us inside the film room presented by Lincoln Financial Group. I'm Fran Duffy. Stay tuned. We're going to keep breaking down this Eagles rookie class right here inside the film room.